The new memorial to those who died in the crash of United Airlines Flight 93 on 9-11 was dedicated yesterday near Shanksville, Pennsylvania. Former Presidents Bill Clinton and George W. Bush were there, along with Vice President Joe Biden. Chip Reed is at the National Flight 93 Memorial this morning. Good morning, Chip. Well, good morning, Scott. Eventually, this memorial will cover 2,200 acres of rolling countryside here in southwestern Pennsylvania. But behind me, what you see is the heart of the memorial that was dedicated yesterday. That white marble wall is the wall of names. On it are etched the names of the 40 passengers and crew members who perished in the crash of Flight 93. And it points directly at a massive 17 ton boulder that marks the point of impact. That is considered sacred ground by the family members, only they are permitted to walk there. One of those family members is Gordon Felt, and he joins me now. His brother, uh, Ed Felt, was on board Flight 93. Thank you very much for joining us, Gordon. First of all, could you tell us a little bit about Ed and what it means to you uh, to finally, after years of hard work, have this memorial here in Shanksville? Well, Ed was, uh, Ed was my oldest brother, 41 years old, from Matawan, New Jersey. Uh, but most of all, Ed, Ed was a, a good family man, a good father, a good husband. Uh, just a wonderful, generous, given human being. And what does it mean to finally have this memorial here after well, years to of hard work? To have this sacred ground protected uh, and under the stewardship of the National Park Service brings great comfort to the families, knowing that the final resting place of our loved ones will be cared for in perpetuity. Okay, and you'll be meeting with President Obama later today. Yes. Great. Thank you.